Okay, we got the main line, I would say. More c4, e5. Very strange move. Yeah. Heh. <laughs> That's weird. I never understood that. Never understood that. As tempting as it is to take, I'm really considering what happens if I just go back. Because I think his knight's really bad. I'm just going to go back and go like this. Wow, he's launching the pawns at me. No regard. He's got no regard for the position. The thing is, e4, e5 is a really strong idea here. I, th I think e4, e5 is... <laughs> I'm not sure he can survive. Let's see. I like bishop g5. e4 is this, I would say, a pretty big move next. Five's an idea. So knight there, he wants me to take. So there, there is like an idea to just go back, not give him what he wants. And it's kind of convincing. Like he wants trades. He wants to trade and get castle. I feel like I'm annoying him by doing what I did. That does not look right. <laughs> that does not look right. Let's take. And it's it's not so much about being able to win that or anything. It's like, I feel like my position just looks amazing right now. Knight should go to e6 and it does. Right. Damn, my position looks good. You know, strangely here, I kind of want to go like that. I feel like his next move is knight g5, knight h3. You know, if he, if he had it his way. So what am I going to do about that? F4? Maybe F4. F5 does not look right. E4, Queen H5 check is a threat here, which is easy to forget about. Yeah, so Queen here, forced King F8. I mean, this is the kind of move you just have to do anyway. Bishop takes E4 next. Remember, that's pinned. So Bishop E4 actually threatens to win a piece, strangely enough. Four. Rooks come to the middle. At this point, it's not even about whether I win a piece here by force right now. It's just that the rooks are coming to the middle. Queen e8 is pressingly met by bishop to g6. OK, 
Okay, and Bishop takes h7. Rook e8 coming. And it's tough to move his pieces. Queen e7 just gets smacked with rook e1. Queen e8 is maybe the best move. <laughs> but that's trading queens when you're down a piece, so not all too appetizing. And, you know, there is queen f5 there, so I can keep the queen on the board at least for a move. Yeah, this is not comfortable. This is not comfortable. saying that I mean, rook e8 now looks quite good. I think he'll have to play that. Which, you know, it's not the end of the world. He's fighting here. comes to mind but king g2 and rook h1 is kind of simple that's a really nasty pin really nasty All sorts of moves. Rook g7 and rook h1 is made in two. He's got to defend it. It's not quite mate, but once I defend g4, it will be. So something like this, and then we have a mate coming. F5. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, people are really trying to like just full on assault the king side here. We won a pawn very early. I don't really understand this move at all in the opening. I mean, I'm just getting there first. And then really all we need to do is just push in the center of the board, avoid trades. Like opponents really trying to force it there. C4. We're definitely playing down here. 1300. Let's uh let's get G3, Bishop G2. Guys, I really appreciate the primes there. That was a that was a nice little train we put together. No edge lord. Are you really gonna convince me with a backwards name? But that's true. Remember, e4, knight g5 is usually what we want to do there. I'm going to go e3, I think. could also do that. And we keep it simple here. The 6k push, thanks Noah Sheesh. Um, we want a castle here. Yeah, let's go d4 first. Let's go d4. Oh, what? What on earth is that? What on earth is that? And what on earth is going on in the chat? 
Look at that push. Irish Frank, 10 gifted subs. And oh. Oh my fucking god, Wade. OMFG Wade, thanks for the 10 as well. Frank. And OMFG. Man, we really uh we really pushed it there. Let's go. Six more. Meanwhile, what the hell is this move? It happened exactly when all the subs came in. What? Like, what's going on here, guys? If I take, he wants E4. <laughs> Why does that look like it kind of does something? Of course it doesn't actually. But still. It's like... It's weird that he's not completely losing just on the spot. I mean, it is winning for me. I'm going to take... I'm going to be up stuff here how much stuff is tbd looks like maybe just a pawn <laughs> 85 here e3 but yeah i mean like i feel like uh we go rook d1. Yeah, I feel like my opponent has uh, a decent for that crazy kind of move. Bishop g4. He's only down a pawn. Position's really not that bad. Oh, Wade. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank you very, very much for the support. Getting in on the scam. Irish Frank. You know, but you know all about the scam, buddy. You're one with the scam now. I can take here, there's knight d3. What I think I'm gonna do is knight a4. And bishop takes f6. He can go queen e4, and I think he should. Then I was hoping that, like, look, my position is, I'm simplifying, right? Let's take here. Queen takes, we'll trade. I don't think he wants to play that move, so yeah. Here, there might be knight c2. Yeah, I think this is a... Hmm. We're in a good spot here, but... I think let's just play knight c3. Keep it controlled. Oh. Wade. You've been following since 2015. And you've never ever chatted till now. Wow. That's quite something. That's a real burner account, eh? Is this a Wade that I know? go here that's an ultimate lurker right hasn't said a word for literally seven and a half eight years that's pretty serious stuff is that not the biggest lurk like ever like is it possible to lurk harder than that serious question does anyone know of Anyone who's lurked harder than that. An eight year lurk. Hard times, only able to help now. Wait. Getting me all uh, in my feels, man. That's really sweet. Well, cheers to you. Uh, finding better times. That is a strong lurk, guys. It's crazy. 
Eight years. Working for eight years. Ooh, unfortunate. It does show the follow date, Wade. I can see it here. July 1st, 2015. July 1st, 2015. Nights are tricky. Get it off the board. Want this knight on f5 all the mating nets that could possibly exist in the world exist with the knight on f5 you know so once we get the knight on f5 then we'll have some real threats I'm gonna go here. F6 is a reaction to this. Kind of spares him. And yeah, he takes, then he will get mated. He will get mated. GG Caperas. G3. Man, did we already play this guy? I mean, can we get an amen? I mean. <laughs> Guys, what? Is this becoming theory or something? All right, what's it gonna be? Here, queen a4, we win that pawn back, or bishop d5, c6. Man, I'm. <laughs> I think, I think that bringing the bishop back is like you know queen a4, queen takes a7. That's great. That's very good. But I'm having some funny feeling that I should take on h7. Like, just ridiculous. <laughs> like, there's no way. Queen C2? I mean, it's a fork. I mean, it's a fork. So on this one, I wanted to play Queen C2. Right? Because now, now, if the knight moves back, thinking like that, then I take that knight. <laughs> what the hell is this? My bishop is on a rampage from behind enemy lines. Okay. So, yes, covered. However, however, we can attack this. It's not over yet. I have many moves. Plus, I have bishop h7. Bishop h7, he wants to go g6, right? But, we're going to play bishop here. Wait, maybe this first and then bishop here? Also, bishop here, queen e7. How is knight f3? I guess not scary. So, let's play bishop here first. Wait a minute. If he takes it, I trap the rook. No, but this is insane. No, but this is crazy. 
<laughs> Both of my pieces, like, I'm gonna have multiple pieces go to the G8 square. What the hell is this game? <laughs> OMFG Wade also hit us with five subs. We hit 169 with the most ridiculous game ever. <laughs> I have to, I have to, hey, if my queen gets trapped, it gets trapped. You know what? Queen g6, he wants to trap my queen. It's not really working because <laughs> queen h8 is there. But we got Wade here with the subs, the energy. We got a fun position. I'm up what right now? Rook? A rook. I'm up a rook. Okay. I remind myself of that sometimes. Jesus. Uh, bishop a3, c5 is you know, whatever. I think we just go here. I mean, this is hilarious. Night H6 might be coming. Let's just get the hell out of there. Oh my goodness. What a journey that was. <laughs> After all that. Are you guys impressed with my pieces? Somehow we made bishop takes h set. I don't even know. I can still castle. <laughs> I had to do it, guys. It's not about rook f7. If you can still castle in that position, you just must do it out of respect. Out of respect for the move castling. Let's go d5. Rook f7. We want to uh, we want to have this rook down there. Once we trade that bishop, rook h8 is mate. Moves the rook anywhere. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Man, GG. That was the weirdest game. I'm sure the engine would even support me in some of the, maybe most of that. Okay, first of all, we've seen this blunder multiple times. Okay, 95, engine approved, yes, yes, here. Bishop, e4, not the best move, but, but it's not the best move because of knight f6 probably. He took, bishop takes h7, okay. So, I still think this is decent because the top line is actually me getting my pawn back. Okay, queen c2, all of a sudden white's winning. Bishop g8. Wait, oh, I didn't see that. Queen takes and queen here. Oh, that would have been sick. But mine was funnier. But unfortunately, queen c4 was much better. <laughs> and then knight c3. Oops. I know knight c3 is not the best move. Like, you know, bishop here makes so much more sense because if I'm not worried about him taking it because of this, I should make a threat. But I decided to pick the most 
whatever move, you know? Looks like I really am just giving him the piece back. <laughs> and then queen h7. That's great. And now it's like plus seven. All right, c4. Stick with it, g3, bishop g2. I'll start with this knight usually, just to control the squares. Okay, that's not a threat, because that pawn is uh, under attack. We'll go d3, and we played, we've played this kind of uh, an opening, opening before. Okay, he really, really wants bishop h3. All right, he really wants it. We'll go here. This is a common idea, move the rook so that you can keep your bishop. Because if your rook was still there, right, obviously I wouldn't be able to move my bishop because I'd lose my rook on f1. Okay. I'm thinking that it's time for d4. Now that there's no pawn to e4 move, because the knight just moved away, I think it's the moment for d4. Uh, bunglet, no, I wouldn't say it's always good to do that. Not always, it's not like a guaranteed good thing to do, but I would say most of the time it's a good idea. Now, knight takes bishop here. I have to be slightly careful. I think I need to play f4 there. How comfortable am I with that? That's a little annoying. That is a little annoying. f4. Ugh. All right. Going all in, committing to the idea. We're committing to it. Huh? I was, <laughs> man, why do people always do this against me? Right when they might have a move to, to find, they not only just miss it, but miss it completely. Now we got this hanging. What's going on here? I really should have played this move last turn. <laughs> it was a forced mate. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, with the queen on c8, this was forced mate, but I didn't even notice that there was a mate to be had. I was looking at c5 and thinking, what the hell is going on here? When there was actually a uh, game over. Game over. Always look for better, indeed. I'm looking for better even without trying. So we're very winning here, but damn it, we missed a nice little uh, force meet there. Oh, I didn't see that either. Jesus. Jesus. Luckily, we still have knight. Um, this is with check, by the way. Luckily, we still have knight c7. That's interesting, he didn't take my rook. How annoying. How annoying. Yeah, we're still winning for sure, but... <laughs> we missed force mate, and then, like, my brain turned off.
Damn. That wasn't a very clean game at all. Could have been crispy. F3 is needed. That bishop is not too comfortable there, actually. It was literally the worst way I could have played it. Like, 10,000% true. I <laughs> am so bad. Um, I mean, that should really be a move, but start with this. The thing about f4 is like that my king has to stay here, whereas if I just leave the position as it is, even like this is tempting. Yeah, now I kind of like the look of knight f4, but it's blockading me. I'm really trying my hardest to lose this game or not win it nicely. And it's still so winning, so winning, despite everything I'm doing. Now, it's completely winning. Yeah, his bishop is just trapped. Of course I could win the bishop, but we don't even need to. We just push this pawn all the way. Oh, man, I, I even wanna look at it just to see. So, it goes from, by the way, that's crazy. The The mate was there for so goddamn long that right here, when he took this, plus, no, forced mate is bishop here. Forced mate. Now it's not a clear forced mate as in like all checks. It's literally rook takes before, but with this stuff coming and this, like it's just, it's dead. Computer says there's no hope. But literally, the idea is here now. If I play queen d5 in this position, I have an advantage of plus three. Plus three! With queen d5. <laughs> That's how good it is. Okay, and then here, it's mate. It's literally mate, but I know that. This is a guarantee mate. I take here. Okay. Now I choose queen d5 instead of bishop. I play knight b5, and the evaluation has gone from like force mate in 10, force mate in 4, plus 25, plus 20, to plus 5. to, in this position, plus four. Ooh, this is our highest rated opponent by far, 1860. But we're not gonna flinch. He might though. <laughs> I think he might flinch. <laughs> Damn. All right. We didn't quite get him. All right, here we go, guys. We got a 1700. We're going to start with the English. E5, the most standard reply. Okay. Now, he's already wasted time and played D6, uh, so I'm not super concerned about D5 at the moment. Plus, for now, at least, I, I prevented it. Um, bishop e6. Really weird. Okay, we'll go d3. Just 
like this, get castled. Now knight g5, bishop f5 is playable. I'm thinking about this. Thing is, I want to play d4. Add it in. 10 gifted subs. Add it in. Thank you, man. It's the 1700 grind. Welcome. Let's go here. If d5, I think knight g5 is bothersome. And if that, I was considering d4. Like this. So we have some knight g5 move coming up. And if he takes, then, you know, I'm going to have two very strong looking bishops. Takes. Bishop here. D5, I think maybe knight takes D5. There we go. Man, that's a really nice, really nice, uh, sub bomb there added in. And oh my goodness, it's followed by another one. Shasta. Who's been sending the bit energy tonight? The bits from Shasta have been noticed. But now it's the subs, 11 of them. Thank you for the 11 subs, Shasta. Really appreciate that. Look at that. Add it in, Shasta. You guys are making it happen right now. All right, am I gonna bite the bullet and play E4? No, I don't want to, not yet, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Shasta added in. 21 subs between you. 21, 21. The music's thumping. We got another green Sheffer. You know who you are. Thank you, new green Sheffer. Okay, E5. I think this, I mean, I feel like this knight needs to reroute. I'm thinking f4 which is ultra aggressive but let's baby we got the bishops here we got the bishops baby i ain't messing around right now king h1 rook g1 action things seem well defended i know that's scary and this was what i was concerned about but i just feel like we got things we got things covered Here. There we go. Tim Cannon. Thanks for the bits. Tim Cannon with the bit energy. Do I have this move? Knight A4. Sorry, bud. Knight E3 just wasn't an option. Was not an option. Nice KO there. Had to punish him for. We made the right decision, right? F4. Just open that thing up when you got the bishops. That's how you play the game. It's a special position to be in. I'm going to go for C4. Knight f3, g3, bishop g2, castle, you know the drill, guys. Aha, what's up with this? People bringing their knight in front of their bishop like that. It's bad practice. Shouldn't be doing that. I'm always going to take the center if you offer it, though. Sure. Let's go here. He doesn't have that as a, as a square, so I feel like d5 is kind of nice here. Thank you, Shasta. Man, Shasta's not stopping. That more than enough. Appreciate the sub there. By the way, is anyone enjoying the music? Is it just me? God damn.
It's just me? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Figured. King here. Queen d2. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to do stuff like this. Now he can't do that move. Now let's just crank it. Crank it open, crank the music. I'm going with F5, guys. I've got this to win material, but I want more than that. I'm greedy. I want more. Here comes the bishop. You want to know what set this is? Everyone wants to know what set this is? All right, I'll let you know when we get one more green chef sign up. Just one. One more. That's it. One more and it's and I will divulge my secrets. This is a really good set. The whole set's been banging. And we're an hour into it and it's a two hour set. Just one more, Mr. Shep. I think that's fair. We're at seven. I'll give it to you guys at eight. Man, I can win a, a rook here, but it's like, I don't even think I want to. I think I'm trying to say hello to a move like F6. Takes, takes here. Queen h3. Don't love his uh, queen getting out there. Exactly, Sleazy. That's my plan, but just, just needs a little prep work. Just needs a little prep work. What's going on here? Does Green Chef offer only vegetarian dishes? No, no, just primarily uh, greener options. So it's not just veggie. Um, you will find that it's, you know, they have meats that meat options there. So don't think that it's only veggie. Green Chef just offers healthier options. Vegan, veggie options, keto, diet, weight loss, that sort of stuff. But you'll still, you'll still find your chicken there, buddy.
keep it simple. Take with the bishop. It's tempting to take with the rook, but he doesn't have to take me, you know? He's not forced to take me and then have my bishop show up there. Now, does anyone know how this position will become a win? If this knight goes there, how do we get there? Let's trace the steps. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, Roger that. <laughs> All right, on my way. Oh, come on. You got to play the move, Artak. Nice. Nicely done, pal. Let's take with the knight, I want to say. Knight, king. Ah, actually, that's a funny mate. Knight takes. King here. Rook here. Rook here. Mate. Or that. Or that. We want to double, move the rook, and then there'll be mates everywhere. And then there'll be mates everywhere. Ah, uh, no, no, no. All right. Here we go. H4, so none of these pawns can move. I'm getting my position soon to be a pre-movable position. Here we go. Now it's pre-movable. Right. Just in case you were ever in it, and the reason why it's pre-movable, I've played h4, is because of course black could play h4 himself and take my take my pawns and maybe get a queen if I'm just pre-moving, so. There we go. There we go. Thank you.